In today's Health Alert, we're talking about microplastics and they are becoming more widespread in the environment. They're found in water, soil, and even the air we breathe. Research has detected them in nearly every part of our body. So what does this mean for our health? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here now to help answer that very question. So Dr. Nandy, what exactly are microplastics and how do they affect us? Sorry about that, Carolyn. I think uh, I, I lost my audio. But plastics are really synthetic materials made from oil and other petroleum products. They don't decompose. Instead, they break down into smaller pieces over time. And when these pieces are between one and five millimeters across, they're called microplastics. To get an idea of the size, they can be as large as a pencil eraser or as small as a grain of salt. So it's, it's important that these things are tiny. Microplastics have been found in various parts of the human body including the lungs, the stomach, heart, liver, kidneys, ovaries, penis, testicles, and even placentas. So we can ingest microplastics through food. Once inside, they can be harmful. That's because they can be contaminated with toxic chemical additives that can leach into our bodies, and nobody wants that. As for how they may affect us, research suggests that microplastics could lead to inflammation, cell damage, and issues with the lung and liver. They can also disrupt gut bacteria, those are the, uh, the bacteria, the trillions of bacteria that are in your intestine, and they can affect how our bodies handle fats and hormones. Even a small study, Carolyn, suggesting a po possible link between microplastics and arteries and a higher risk of cardiovascular problems. Additionally, some experts worry that microplastics may contribute to rising cancer rates amongst younger people. That said, a 2022 report from the World Health Organization found no clear evidence of harm to human beings uh, and human health based on evidence at that time. But research is still ongoing and there's much that we don't know. But, you know, listen, it doesn't sound good at all. No, it doesn't sound good at all. Now, you know, Australian researchers estimated in 2019 that people can consume about five grams of plastic each week. That's about the size of a credit card. I didn't know that. What advice do you have to reduce our exposure to that? First of all, I think that it's really important to reduce your exposure, you know, to, to as little as possible. So here, here's some tips, right? Avoid microwaving plastic. I, I, I really follow this. Use glass or ceramic containers instead to avoid releasing microplastics in your food. Use stainless steel or glass water bottles. If you use plastic bottles, keep them cool and out of direct sunlight to reduce the degradation. That's important. Avoid processed foods in general for everything, but many processed foods and packaged foods contain microplastics. So try cooking from scratch to lower your exposure. Filter your water. Use home water filters, again, to reduce <coughs> microplastics. And then choose non-plastic cutting boards. Remove shoes indoors. Take off your shoes at the door. That cuts down on household dust and debris, including the microplastics. And then dust and vacuum frequently, you know, I think it helps with regular cleaning, but it also gets rid of dust, which contains microplastic fibers. You make these simple changes, you can limit your exposure to microplastics and really create a healthier environment. This is, to me, a big problem, even though I talked about that, you know, the, the World Health Organization didn't talk about a serious effect. I think this is a big risk and it'll be in the future. So we should minimize our risk at all costs. Man, I have a lot to do at home, Dr. Nandy, to reduce my family's risk, but such good advice as always. We love it when you come on and you give us such great information. Thank you so much. Well, thanks, Carolyn. My pleasure. Take care. You too. And if you have a health question for Dr. Nandy, send him an email to drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or on X. Man, oh man, Rexy, a lot to do, good a lot to change. Shoot, shoots from the hip, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Good information, that's for sure.